Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to part 2 with me, and Tom 64 And me, the Hell Dragon. Um, this time we're going to go for a joyful little romp throughout the streets of Traverse Town. And hopefully it will work this time. Oh, we've had recording issues like you will believe. But we're not going to get into that because it's a boring story. <laughs> yes, it's a story best served with cake and punch to liven up the experience. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the hell I'm all about. And it's about this time that we realize that things aren't exactly right in Traverse Town. Indeed, it's not often, it's not often you see ghostly apparitions appear out of nowhere. Oh yeah, and Harless. There, there's Harless around here too. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> Man, shit's about to go down. You gotta give it to the Harless though, they are persistent. Well, they are mindless creatures, so I guess, if anything, they have to be persistent. Yeah, I suppose. They obey whoever's strongest in the given area, so if there's like an extremely powerful dog, they'd obey him. Is it is that why they were like uh, doing whatever the organization told them to do? Uh-huh. Do you think they would have, um, okay, you know how like the organization is basically like super nobodies, right? With like personalities, right? Yeah. Do you think there's a version of that, but with Heartless? Um, well, Xehanort's nobody would constitute that, I think. That's true. No, not Xehanort's nobody. His Heartless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Too many convoluted ideas. Yeah, but so far that's the only one. I don't even know how that happened. I guess his will was strong enough as well. Uh -huh. I'll tell you, that was a good villain. It's not any of those cliched, oh, I have, I have a backstory. It was just good, I want to kill you villain. Well, nothing's wrong with the backstory. You, but, yeah, I guess every once in a while you need a, oh, I just want to kick your ass because I'm a douche. I'll tell you uh, a villain with a backstory that went wrong. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, God. Let's not get started on that. It's like they created the character and then created the backstory later to justify him having a backstory. Yeah, you need to do that first. I mean, Black Arms, what was that about? I wouldn't know. I haven't played Shadow the Hedgehog because I heard it was shit. Also, what? I don't play Sonic games. Oh, well. Your loss, except for Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06. Oh, yeah. Hey, you ever uh, rented that yet? Um, I've, I've, I have it now. I'm playing it. Oh, good lord. <laughs> it has its moments, but besides that, it's mediocre. Oh, yeah, that thing I remember about this game, it's the whole, uh, what's it called? That Dalmatian side quest. Uh, you have to uh, collect the 101 Dalmatians that have been scattered throughout various worlds. 99, even. I think... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I coughed there. I think that I only got, like, 30 of them or whatever. Ever. Uh-huh. Um, well, I just know that. Sorry, God. I just know that uh, the more you get, you get, like, extra crap. I think if you get them all, you get some really kick-ass. I forgot. If you get uh, all the Dalmatians, all the Trinity uh, marks, and complete the Hades and whatever corpse, you get the secret ending. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to assume you have to do that. Oh, God, it took me forever to do it. Wait, don't you... Uh, you said you had, like, a different save file, right? Yeah, that's the one where you, I've got the secret ending on it. Oh, okay. So, I guess we don't have to wait to see it, huh? Indeed, so. Watching this really makes me want Sora and Brawl, but I don't think he's going to be in it. <sighs> hmm, yeah, you cut out slightly there, but never mind. I know. I guess he had like a lot of votes. I'm pretty sure. I know Mega Man had more and Gino. I'd rather have them in. Who is Gino anyway? I have no idea. Gino is a character from um, Super Mario RPG: Eleven Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, he was only in one game. Yeah. And he's owned by Square Enix because they developed the game. That's why you don't see him anywhere else. Hmm. Interesting. But apparently he's so awesome that people want him. Well, the game never came to Europe, so that's why I don't really know him that much. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but we did get, um, you know, Paper Mario? Uh, yeah, what about it? Uh, that's kind of an adaptation of the Seven Stars. Paper Mario? Uh-huh. Not really, it's pretty different. Well, that's what I read in my Nintendo magazine, and I take what they say as truth. 
Well, it's not true, trust me. It's well, not an adaptation of it. It's well, a whole different game. Everything I know is a lie. Eh, uh, probably. Damn you, Nintendo official magazine. Yeah, don't trust all, only one magazine, don't trust what you read, or some other crap <laughs> adage I can't remember. I'm sure there was something meant to be triggered here, but obviously not. I don't know. I guess That's... you have to do it out of battle. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, shop, I think. What's at the shop? Uh, a cutscene trigger. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, but we'll, after I've run, run away like a pussy back to it, we'll see. We'll all see. My god, Kingdom Hearts didn't have random battles. That just, no. That wouldn't have been fun. That would have been crazy. That would have been dumb. I don't like random battles anymore. I really you know don't. I prefer Traverse Town to Twilight Town, in a way. I do, too. I don't know why. Nothing against Roxas, it's just this town is better. No, I have something against Roxas. I hate a stupid tutorial. That took <laughs> forever. Yeah. Um, also, I'm not a fan of Perpetual Twilight. See, uh, Twilight Town in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. Well, I kind of remember it. I watched it. I've never actually played it. You should play it. It's a good game. Well, I'd have to get a GameCube first or a Wii, and oh, we know my problems with that. Oh, let's not get into that. Well, uh, yeah, I won't. I believe this is a cutscene. They'll come at you out of and about this time, Squall, uh, in the first game, he's voiced by David Baranis, who was who played Angel and Buffy and Angel, respectively. Don't ask me how I know this. Well, my friend got me onto Angel. I actually kind of like it. I don't know why. The Angel, second one. Sorry, Angel Season 3 was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, The second game, he was voiced by Doug... Erholtz, if I could say that last name correctly. They took out a lot of the good voices in number one and just put in uh, random anime actors in the second. Man, I really got my ass kicked in this fight. Yeah, even I kicked his ass, and you just gotta play defensively, which is very hard for me, don't get me wrong. I'm more like a, I'm more like a tanker, really. I just run forward and smack whatever's in my way. <laughs> I'm a berserker, yeah, I have to get in their face, otherwise I'm not gonna have fun with the game, I'm sorry. Yep. That's why Rogue Galaxy is so frustrating. The bosses all use a stupid gimmick, and you have to be—you have to heal all the damn time. I'm thinking about trading that game in. Uh, what would you get instead? God of War 2. Found it. Hmm, nice sounds good. Man. I still need to beat God of War 1, but at least I enjoyed God of War 1. Uh huh. Um, Yuffie here is played by God. What's her name? A lot. Uh, Chris Christine Romano. Uh, Christy it... Carlin Romano. That's the one. And, uh, I think. She plays uh, Kim Possible. She does? Yep. Is that right? And another Kim Possible link, uh, Cypher, in Kingdom Hearts 2, is uh, played by Will Friedle, who also played um, Terry McGinnis in Batman Beyond. And, on, and also uh, Ron he was... Excuse me. Did the King Oh, he, oh, he's also Ron... Well, I don't know. I don't watch Kim Possible. Okay. But I, I find it funny. Everything connects together, you see? It's like one big friggin' jigsaw. I forgot who Ares was voiced by. I just know that her dialogue in Avon Children sucked. Uh, she's voiced by Mandy Moore. Oh yeah, in the first one she's voiced by... Well, in the second one, is she voiced by somebody else? She's voiced by a robot in number two. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mandy Moore actually did a good job, surprisingly, in the first one. I'll have to look up who did her in number two. Yeah, all we know is that she didn't do that well. Uh -huh. Like I said, they changed a lot of the voices out for different ones. I mean, some of them are okay, but, you know, Billy Zane, come on. Awesome, Bill. Awesome. He, he did a really good job, I gotta admit. Why did they change him na his name from Squall to Leon? I have no clue. Yeah. Isn't his uh, second name Leon I mean, Hart? Er what? Isn't his second name Leon Hart? Le uh, Li uh, Leon Hart, yeah, or Lion Hart, or whatever. Yeah. Still. But I know why they changed Aerith's name, because in the original Japanese it was supposed to be Aerith, and now it was supposed to be her name in the English version, but they fucked up translation. I know that. That's why they changed that. that that's fine. But I don't know about Squall. Was his original name supposed to be Leon? I hope not, because it's Dom. Yeah, uh, one thing though. I want to know how Leon could uh, transport the Keyblade back to Sora. Yeah, if you can't touch it. 
I mean, um, look at Jack in Kingdom Hearts 2, Jack Sparrow. He was able to hold the Keyblade for a few seconds. I don't know. Ugh. Crazy metagame rules. Indeed. The Heartless? The Heartless are the villains in this game. Yes, you will fight them many times in many different forms. And then later some nobodies things yeah. we don't really care about. Yeah, we kind of half half ass those villains. Oh well. Some of the nobodies are cool. I like the dragon ones. Oh, the uh, dragoons. Yeah, those. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, I like the snipers. Snipers are. I forgot what those look like, but I think they were annoying. <coughs> Probably, yeah. Right, we're gonna take a quick break here, and we'll be back in part eight. See you later. Too many worlds. Oh, then maybe.